The 6012 Calgary criminologist says he is fighting addiction centers in transportation hubs with violence on public transit. Some cities in Canada are experiencing an increase in violence on public transport, which has prompted calls for mental health and addiction treatment facilities to be located within 600 meters of major transport hubs. Bringing his services around the transition nodes makes a lot of sense, Kelly Sundberg, a professor of criminology at Mount Royal University in Calgary said in an interview with Day C. Oost Brent Bambury. Reports show that acts of violence against passengers Toronto Transit increased by 46 per se compare to 2021, and calls for violent crime in Edmonton increased 53 per se single year. Sundberg says it's been seen in many cities across the country. Those who struggle with shelter or housing, addiction, mental health use these transit nodes, as well as libraries and a few other public spaces that remain open. These spaces are to warm, stay dry, just safe. He said a social friction is developing and more support is needed as people return to pre-COVID-19 quarantine habits, such as commuting to work or taking public transport for entertainment like movies and restaurants. WATCH Emotional Defense from Mother of Teenager Who Killed in Toronto Subway Station The Mother of Teenager Who Was Killed in Toronto Subway Station says, This must stop. Duration 635 Andrea Magalhães has been suffering unbelievably since her 16 year old, 16 year old son Gabriel killed. She was stabbed to in the Toronto Subway Station. He spoke to Adrian Arsenault in hopes of putting an end to the random violence that plagues the TTC. Bringing treatment closer to transfer centers Sunberg thinks the law introduced by BC's Secretary of Transportation Rob Fleming, which allows the state to purchase land near transit centers for housing and communal services, is a good step forward. Fleming was not available for comment, but BCBC's Department of Mental Health and Addictions adds that the state has invested $586 million in treatment and rehabilitation services. Kelly Sundberg professor of criminology at Mount Royal University, supports bringing services for mental health and addiction close to transportation. Sundberg says he has been contacted about similar initiatives for housing near public transit in Ontario, but he supports going further and offering comprehensive sites that offer social services for vulnerable communities near transit hubs. He was impressed by Calgary-based landscape designer Erica Hansen's presentation at the 2021 Alberta Parks and Recreation Conference. Hansen demonstrated design concept for a central wellness center near the Sunalta LRT stop in Calgary, on the site of former Greyhound bus station. Homelessness and addiction seem to be becoming more 